The new GeForce Now RTX 5080 Super Pods have launched, and with this upgrade, they also launched this highly requested feature to install and play games you own, with a catch. The new install to play feature is expanding the cloud library to nearly 4,500 games for ultimate and performance members. How? Well, let's get into getting started and what you need to know about this new feature. So this is one of the only features that is confirmed to not be only applied to the ultimate tier, but to the performance tier as well. As an ultimate or performance member, you'll get access to cloud storage right off the bat. What this means though is that you will have 100 gigabytes of storage per session to download any of the install to play games. But remember these games will not stay with you on every session and delete once your session ends. To have them stay with you on your account so you don't have to download them every time you start a session, you'll need to purchase persistent cloud storage. This is an additional monthly charge added to your current membership. They are offering three tiers of storage sizes. 200 gigabytes for 2.99, 500 gigabytes for 4.99, and 1 terabyte for 7.99. Once you add a persistent storage tier on your membership, you can manage storage by navigating to the settings and account on the app. Here you will see a display for cloud storage. You're going to see a bar with how much storage you have. Now I want you to notice this line, storage location. Be aware that your cloud storage is stored at only one location. If you want to use your storage, you have to start your session at the location where you installed your games. It does not travel with you, but the system is good at putting you at the location where you installed your game. Now if you want to move your location, you'll have to reset your storage, choose the right location, and reinstall your games from here. So to get started with installing a game, go to the Install and Play row on the app. Either choose a game here or click on See All. You'll be able to see all the games that are opted in and are able to be installed to your account. The GeForce Now app will tell you how much storage you have left, about how much storage this game will use up, and the time to download it. It'll also tell you if cloud saves are supported and if gameplay has been verified to work or not. Now of course, we haven't tested all games, but the method of downloading games is the same as downloading any game on Steam. Start your session, sign in, and your game will start downloading. Now also be aware that these games haven't launched officially on GeForce Now for a reason. A lot of the games that we have encountered haven't worked. The original Battlefront 2 froze on the main menu, and a game called Black Squad didn't even run on the system. So I'm sure there's plenty of other games that have problems like this as well. But other games we tried like Boyd and DCS did run. DCS, including DLC like the F-18, worked pretty well. I'll have another video showcasing DCS soon, but if you want to know if mods from the Steam Workshop work, the answer is yes. Now we tested the free-to-play game Boyd. They offer user-based modded maps in the Steam Workshop and I added a couple to my account. I loaded up the game and there they were. Now I can't guarantee that this will work for every game since not all games have been tested, but this one worked for us. Let us know if others have worked for you as well. So this was a basic getting started guide and overview of the new install to play method. We'll be continuing to test games in the install to play category. Remember, these are games that are just games that have already opted into GeForce Now. No, you cannot play GTA. Also be aware that games that launch third party apps don't work as of now. So guys, have fun installing and attempting to play games that may or may not work. It's like NVIDIA's old chest of toys that were forgot about and was put deep back in the closet never to be seen again. And years later, they decided to pull it out for the kids to see. Anyway, if you like this overview of the install to play method, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.